Most stick baits are heavier or more dense by design, often achieved by the addition of salt impregnated within the bait. This allows you to fish them in shallower water without any added weight other than the hook. The most common method is the simple wacky style. It is a very slow fall, a subtle vibration, and a unique inchworm effect as it's pulled through the water. The addition of a rubber ring can add to longevity of the worm, or it can be rigged unweighted Texas style. For deeper applications, you could add a finishing nail or bait weight in the tail of the worm. Texas rigged or wacky style, the tail weight produces a unique action few bass have seen. Or you can simply add a bullet sinker to the head of the worm for the classic Texas rig. Four inch models work on drop shot rigs for finesse fishing. Larger five or six inch models work well on Carolina rigs for deep water ledge fishing. They're also effective on shaky heads or mushroom style jigs. Now you can see why it's the most popular soft bait to date. It's simply a very versatile soft bait profile that can be applied to a wide range of bass fishing situations. Boy, if there, oh, yeah. If there is a magic bait for any condition, tell you what, these stick baits, cigar baits just like this, that's the ticket. You know, Troy, the first time I saw a stickworm in use hooked through the middle, fluttering down like that, I yeah. thought, this is just wrong. <laughs> this is silly. No self-respecting bass is going to hit that. And as it turns out, it's one of the most popular worm riggings in America. It just catches fish, period.